Hello, the new Hamada year. I know for some time I've been away and I am back. Okay, so we resume tutorials today. We'll be getting tutorials every day in the month of February. Today we're going to create a design, a very simple church flyer design. I want you to follow the procedures from the beginning to the ending. Alright? The first thing we want to do is to get our background. The background we're going to be using is the color scheme over there. So I'll go over here. I mean this guy here. I'll click on this and then I will select the blue. Okay? Alright, so we've got in the first color. Now to get the second color, I'm gonna use um other elements. Alright, so I'm gonna bring it in right now. Right, is it? So we're going to change the color. So I'll go to color. I'll change it to this guy here. No, not that one. I mean this one. Go over here. Go to color. Change the color to this. Alright? Go over here. Let me make it bigger a little. Put it here. Alright? Then I'll copy it for the another color there. This is colored, right? Put it right here. Let's make it a bit bigger. Put it right here. Right, there is a background of a, of a person's face there. So I'm bringing these people, church people praying. I'm going to put it at the background. I increase it like this. And I'll put it at the background like this. Right, so I'm going to send it to the back like this. All right, so I'm going to paint it. I'll remove the saturation. Then I'll go to opacity and I'll blend it inside the background like this. Right, then I will still bring one of it here. So I'll copy this one and bring it here. Now, you're not for me to blend it very well so that it's not looking like it's a. Uh, now, you're not for me to blend it very well. I'm going to bring in some of this. So, let's lock this first. No, let's lock this. Let's bring one of these guys. Okay, so I'm just going to copy like this and I will just put it like this. So, choose the view, right? Move it again, like this. So, do the same thing here. Okay? Do the same thing here. Right, is that okay? So, we can bring this to the front. Where is it? So, we can bring this to the front. We can bring this to the front. So you see it now. This is just a simple way to form or make your background, alright? So the next thing we want to do is to get uh, some kind of let's bring this guy. Alright, so this is it. We're gonna use this. So cutting it here like this, let it spread from here, going to the other part of the block. So the color is gonna be this color here. Right? Cool. So I'm gonna drag this like this. Sorry, this guy. Alright, so I'm bringing Pastor Emmanuel here. Alright, the picture is not very clear, but we're just gonna manage it. So I'm putting one of the pictures here. Right, then I am going to bring the old picture and I'll put it here. So you can actually download these pictures with a link in the I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video where you can download these pictures. 
client I'm going to bring this to the client okay uh, let me go here by the way and just play around with the colors the white So, so you need to blend the background also. So bring this to the front like this, right? And this guy here, bring it to the front, right? So push it over here, copy it, push it over here too, right? Then try and bring this guy. Front. To do that, we would have to we have to do this. Bring this to the front also. And bring this to the front again. Uh, I think that one is not necessary. So we have something like this. Okay. So we're going to go over here, go to check, and do this. All right. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this because we're getting them as a notification. Alright, so I'm going to put this right here. Okay. Okay, so we have some text that's going to be here. So, Queen's Park Event Center. Use a decent font for it. Let's say, and let's use this. Right, so color should be blue. Um, I'll lock this up together. Don't increase it. Then I'll centralize this. Which is right there. Alright, so we have water corporation, blah 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 blah. So I'll copy this one and paste it right there. Water corporation drive. Um, Trinity have a of Right, so just use this one for it. Right, so let's make it black. stuff like that the so next thing I want to do here is here we have mid mid expression so mid so it's like this mid mid so have a short form get a perfect form for it so let's try this Right, 
bumbuin terus ya nah ini kan bumbuin terus ya prison aids I like to send this to the back. Alright, so we have something like this. So I'm gonna bring this guy here. I'll rise to the end there. Alright, so because the background is black, so one of the rules we design is that pay attention to contrast, okay? So when the background is black or dark, then you should use a light. Color. So that's why I'm using this white color here. I see it coming out of the So I'm going to try and bring in this color right here. So this is church logo is going to be right there. Alright. So the next thing I want to do is to bring it in. Uh, let's put it here. Let's say Wednesday. The tent. Uh, so you have to be afraid to put any date you want. Joseph, the general design is not by my draw. So I'm putting this date there. Alright. Alright, so you can see how simple this design came out. Very, very simple. No need for much work and everything. So I can move this guy now. Come over here, then you can move this one. Alright, it was a guide. So I will bring this guy. Sorry. I'll bring this guy here. Copy it. Alright, so try to rotate it like this. Then put it there like that. So bring this mood. Stuff like this, then let's also copy, copy, then try to mash it together like this. Right then, let's turn it like this. Put one right here. Send it to the back. Okay. So when you're done, just click on this. Click on save. Right, fine. Save your image. So it takes some time for it to load, and then it will be saved to your gallery. Now, now that it's saved, you want to go over to PixArt. Right, go to PixArt, and then go to click on the plus button. Select the design that you just saved to your phone, which is this guy here. Then you want to add the little lens there to it. So just come over here and choose the one that you feel suit what you want to do. So for me, I just want to choose anyone that is suitable for the purpose of this tutorial. Right? So I'm going to choose this one right here. I'm going to stretch it like this. It is right here. Stretch it like this. Increase it if you want, and even change the color if you want. Okay. So when you are done, you save. Right. You can come over here also. You can come to effect and uh, right. So I think we are done. So you can save the design like this. Alright, so if you want to even more edit, you can go to Snapseed. Snapseed is Google application. Alright, so go to Snapseed, increase the sharpness like this. Alright, go again, the details, close it. Okay, and 
go ahead and save it. If you want to make it pop, you can go over here. Um, looks, you click on pop. Brings out the beauty of the design even more like this. Alright? Then you go ahead and save it. Export it that you can save. And then you are good to go. My name is Nia Muda. There are more tutorials coming to your way on this channel. Don't forget to like this video. Tell me where you are watching from and subscribe.